Nogini here at the John Lindsay Muscle Contest, the 2015 IFBB Atlantis Championships with some of the best men's physique in the world. I'm here with my fellow guy from Brazil, Alex Carnero. Alex has a huge follow-up in Brazil. You know, he really brings the international flavor here to Las Vegas. And Alex, you really improved a lot from the last show that you did to this show. Condition was a lot tighter, presentation. I thought you still need a little bit of work on your back to finally close it up the first place. But tell me about what you did to dramatically improve your physique from last show to this show. Well, the first thing I did was listen to you, because you were the one who told me from the last show to this show that I had to come in tighter. So I just looked at pictures and I said, okay, this is what I need to fix, this is what I need to fix. So I changed my nutrition, I changed a little bit my training, and I came in here with exactly what you had told me to fix, and I'm really very excited that I was able to do those changes in, what, two, three weeks? Um, it was a little work, a lot of work, but no pain, no gain, right? So. <laughs> well, Brazil is very, very proud of you today. You definitely represent us very well, but uh, are you, do you go to Brazil sometimes? Do you do any kind of training, any kind of seminar back there in South America? Unfortunately, I'm going to miss the Arnold Brazil this year because the mile high next in three weeks is going to be the same weekend. But I go definitely there at least once a year to see family, and then I set up seminars because men's physique in Brazil is growing fast, and it's and there's so much potential coming from Brazil into the U.S. So we just got to make sure all these us the Brazilians are coming in and big big impact here. Now. I, I love following you on, on social media, and I saw you, you wore a muscle contest shirt there. You look awesome with that muscle contest shirt. If you had to wear the muscle contest on the stage, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you look awesome. So we really appreciate your, your support for our shows. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Now, I'm here with one of my favorite competitors, the Shredder. The Shredder. He was back on the stage today. He looked phenomenal, as he always do. Jake Alvarez. Jake, again, one of the most conditioned guys on the stage. We had 19 guys today, and you, of course, came in with the condition that you're known for. The Shredder came strong today, but it barely missed the first place. So, what are you going to do to finally shred all the other competitors out of your way? Uh, maybe just get a little bit longer prep, but... Honestly, I'm just going to talk to my coach, see what he thinks uh, I should do. Um, and, you know, I really don't know what I'm going to do as far as, you know, bringing it in to the next show because I don't really know what I'm going to do from now on. Uh, definitely uh, everyone's trying to get into the Olympia. Um, I feel like I have a good shot, but, you know, we'll see uh, what I need to do, what I need to change with my prep and um, how, to, how to bring in a better package. Well, Jake, let me tell you something. I know you're a champion in the heart. And I can see a little bit on your face that you wanted the first place really bad. But you are a champion. You look phenomenal today. And I know you're going to look even better the next time. First place is on your future. You just need one little bit and you're going to be there. So tell me what you're going to eat after this. Because we want to know whether Shredder is going to skip up his diet after this months and months and months. Your fans are over there. They want to know. Actually, what I'm actually going to eat is something that I've been uh, wanting to eat, but I ha never had to after shows, which is Brazilian barbecue. Going to go to Fogo, Fogo to Chow after, uh, and uh, all you can eat Brazilian barbecue. Sounds good. I know. The Brazilian shredder is going to be at Fogo to show. He's going to be there for six hours straight. So if you're there, he's not going to have any meat available. So I would suggest that you choose another restaurant here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Jake, it's always such an honor and a pleasure to have you on this stage. Now, I'm going to talk to our champion today and winner. These two guys actually work for Zero Gravity, so they work out together. So the battle didn't start today. The battle was on the gym. I'm sure these guys are pounding weights, and they're going to be hating each other Monday on the gym. You know, uh, Johnny Burstyn. Johnny, how did you place on your last show? Uh, I was, I think, 7th, and before that, I was 10th, uh, so I didn't do very well. But um, with my coach's knowledge and my hard work and changing my diet and my nutrition, uh, we came together to bring the physique that I brought today. And uh, I'm just, it's so surreal for me right now. I just, I've dreamed about this day for I don't know how long. I was up till 3 or 4 this morning. I couldn't sleep. I was anxious, had mixed feelings, but uh, I'm glad I came out as a champion tonight.
Well, Johnny, you, you definitely impress everybody today. Jake Alvarez and Alex Carnero are veteran competitors, established competitors that are going to be on the Olympia, and you came from behind, surprised these heavyweight competitors here, and they didn't expect. They thought they're going to be battling for first place, and here comes Johnny, the 10th place from behind, and gets the win. Now, you obviously made a lot of improvements, but what happened really with your physique that changed from 10 to what you have today? Honestly, I just had the determination. Um, I really wanted an overall. I'd never won an overall as an amateur. Um, I earned my pro card, uh, winning second in my class, so I was never came out on top. So I worked really hard. Um, I stayed on my diet, stayed driven, was at the gym, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning, getting my cardio done. Um, so I just did whatever it took. And uh, just trying to take uh, words from advice from you. And I was telling Alex and Johnny Sebastian earlier that, you know, I remember when Alex first came on the pro physique circuit and he was one of my, one of my idols was Steve Cook. So it's just, it's amazing just to compete alongside them and to be first place. It's, uh, like I said, I just have no words right now. Being humble is everything. A champion is not on the body, but it's also on the mind and the heart. And these three guys are the example of what a men's physique should be. They're champions on the body, but they truly represent fitness in, in the industry. So now, Johnny, we know he's going to go for Brazilian barbecue. What are you going to go for? You know what? I might have to go join him for Brazilian barbecue just so he doesn't eat it all. And then... uh. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see about after that. I guess there's going to be another battle tonight at Fogo de Chao, so we'll see. So tonight at Fogo de Chao, you got to have Johnny Burstyn, Jake, and who is going to eat more meat? Well, Alex is Brazilian himself, so you must have something to say about that. Now, what are you going to do yourself, Alex? These guys are not going to overeat you tonight on Brazilian barbecue, please. Look, if I was going, I'd not beat you guys in eating Brazilian barbecue. Yeah. But it is my girlfriend's birthday, so she gets to pick what she wants to eat, not me today. <laughs> I like that. I like that. No. <laughs> last, last thing we're going to do, we're going to have the best ab shot from the men's physique competitors here at Atlantis. And by the way, Johnny Bursting gets the title of Aquaman because he's from Atlantis. He's the new Aquaman. He won the Atlantis. So... So let's see next year who's going to take that title away from the Aquaman here. So Epcha, guys, show what you guys got right here. Ah, oh, man, the Razor is proud. The Razor is very proud. This is some Razor condition. This is Tamer El Gindi at the Muscle Contest Atlantis. I'll see you the next show, the IFBB, NPC California State Championships. We're going to have Pro Bodybuilder. These three guys are going to be there. You're going to be there.